This story just posted four hours ago about the, let's see if I can get this right, DDG-70, Arleigh Burke class destroyer, USS Hopper. Uh, not assigned to the 7th Fleet, but was doing operations in the South China Sea, pardon me. And here's the story. Beijing on Saturday said it had dispatched a warship to drive away a U.S. missile destroyer, which had violated its sovereignty by sailing close to a shoal in the disputed South China Sea. This is much like the issue with the USS Statum that we've covered. The USS Hopper sailed within 12 nautical miles of Guangyan Island on the night of January 17, without alerting, alerting Beijing. Um, also known as Scarborough Shoal, the Ringer Reefs, 140 miles from the Philippines, blah, blah, blah. Same story. Um, here it says, Hopper recently entered U.S. Navy 7th Fleet, independent deployment. Um, I'm sure those of you a lot more knowledgeable in naval issues will tell me where they're assigned. Um, security cooperation, building partner capacity, all the normal um, things. Uh, the U.S. saying China is a strategic competitor using predatory economics to intimidate its neighbors while militarizing features in the South China Sea. We've seen all this before. Um, so there's nothing new here. So, much like in the investigation with uh, the others where we can definitively put the USS Fitzgerald, the McCain, the Lake Champlain, the Normandy, and the Statum all over directly over, almost completely, submarine cables during all of their events when either they were involved in accidents or lost sailors, I decided, well, let's take a look. Let's see if we can find a submarine cable 12 miles off of Scarborough Shoal. Now, I knew this already from my previous research, that it was already there because it was an issue with the statum. So we find Scarborough Shoal, and I'll just zoom out here, and I've got 12 nautical miles pulled up. And as you can see, it is right off the Philippines. Here's Manila, here's Subic Bay, and this is where the alleged incursion happened. So here's Scarborough Shoal on our handy AIS Vessel Finder uh, nautical map. And lo and behold, here we go, here's as you can see, it's already labeled even at this zoom rate. And there we go. Submarine cable, 12 miles directly east of Huangyan Island or Scarborough Shoal. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. I guess the next place we need to go is why. What exactly are they doing? I'm sure each of these ships probably had its own mission. Um, I'm guessing more than likely it was intelligence-based. Um, they were attempting to ascertain some information that couldn't be ascertained otherwise. So I looked up. It was the night of the 17th. Let's see what was going on on the 17th. And lo and behold, guess what? Storm satellite, allegedly. You know, this is an awful lot of money to spend to find out whether you should wear a jacket that night or if uh, your wife's hair is going to frizz up in the humidity. Because that's what they are saying this uh, satellite is being launched to do. Current satellite systems are unable to gather the temperature and humidity data needed to accurately monitor storms. The tropical cyclones in the northwest Pacific, known as typhoons, pose a serious threat to China. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, the agency said Wednesday that if the tests are successful, the next stage would be a space mission. Uh, first time Europe and China have worked together to test and build an instrument. I think that more than likely was uh, the reason um, it gave them probably the ability to get a hold of information they wouldn't have gotten a hold of either why, otherwise. Uh, let's see. European Space Agency said it has teamed up with China's National Space Center to conduct ground tests on two complementary devices designed to deliver high-resolution image from an orbit of 36, 22,000 miles. So more than likely, the information uh, derived from these tests was going through those cables, and the U.S. had an asset right over those cables. There's more than likely some type of technology we don't know about that has the ability to pull that information. And China is aware of it, or North Korea is aware of it. Somebody's aware of it, and that's what happened with the Fitzgerald and the McCain. 
they were over cables, they were doing um, information gathering, and they were interdicted one way or the other. The issue with the Fitz and the McCain are two very different issues. I think the interdiction happened just with different techniques. With the Fitz, it's very clear that they just sent a ship to intercept them and said, just ram them, just run them over. And the issue with the McCain, I think, honestly, somebody was able to hack the steering. And they hacked it at the very last minute. From the time the captain noticed the problem with the steering to the time the McCain was hit was less than five minutes. So at the very last minute, they steered the thing left right in front of the probably very hapless MC Alnick. That they, they probably had no idea they were being used. And you can see that in the path of the Alnick, much like you can see the path of the MV Ottawazan and the Porter. Um, you know, they hit, they stop, they do one small turn, and they stay in the area, and then they move in a straight line away, where you don't see anything like that in the case of the Fitzgerald, where, you know, you see two direction changes, a hit, and then some strange direction change, and then a giant loop, and then another giant loop, and, you know, we've covered that ad nauseum, but... Um, and then having state having sailors go completely missing overboard in the issues with the Statum and the Normandy, I'm wondering if perhaps this requires somebody to go down or to do a dive or something like this to uh, hook up some type of equipment and maybe that's why they lost the sailors, that they were in some kind of a, a deep dive scenario. So, USS Hopper. The latest Arleigh Burke class destroyer to be found over cables on missions that we don't know about. I'm not saying we necessarily should know about them, but at least I think we know a bigger part of the story of what's happened with the uh, sailors who were lost. So, anyway, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, and we will see you next time. Thank you.